The primitive kingdom was an equal balance of energy, existence, and total darkness. Governed by Eshu. I see this darkness does not lead to the creative development of life. So I will allow freedom of movement within this bright light. As long as all nature and creatures living in the shadows of existence will be my servants. Within this darkness, there is a small, transparent enclave with the nucleus of light, air, water, and space. This is the small kingdom of Ola de Mare. I am Olo Dumare, the Supreme Light. The darkness surrounding us does not provide for the fullness of existence. I will create light, so life can flourish. Olo Dumare illuminated this dark primitive world, and then created all the other forces of the universe. He created Oleron, the sun, source of life and light. And Olofin, who is God in the image of the sun. And with them became the triad of supreme beings. The triad of supreme beings created the Sky Father, Obatala, the father of all Orishas. Obatala gave the Orishas their Ori, the reflective spark of human consciousness embedded in human essence. Then they created the Orishas to be intermediaries between the trinity of supreme beings and humanity. Some Orishas represent the vibrations of the elemental forces of nature. Some represent natural phenomena. They are all endowed with great power and wisdom. Jemaja! Shango! Oba Osu Osai Ochosi Babaluaye Oh yeah. Yeah, wow. Sola 
y Belloro. Orishaoko Oshumare Orumilla, the Orisha of healing and divination, understood the secrets of the universe because he was present at the beginning and witnessed all of creation. Orumilla brought the wisdom of Ola Damari to Earth. Then Ola Damari created the Earth, its mountains and valleys, with rivers leading to oceans nurturing plants and animals. Then humans were brought to life by the smooth breath of Oladamari. Thus life evolved on 